Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today I am reviewing what I feel is a very underrated rock album from 1986. Now the thing is I had to kind of, my, my thumbnails kind of a, a fake thing because I don't actually own a CD of it, but I have in the past. And I'll explain all of this in a second. First of all, I'll show you the album cover. That's right, Neil Young, Landing on Water, from 1986. And uh, there, there's a very popular website called Rate, Rate My Music, where all music fans go and they rate all kind of albums. So it's, it's pretty, you know, because it's not just rock critics rating it, it's actual fans. And Landing on Water is, I believe, rate right at the bottom for Neil Young fans. I have read some good reviews. In fact, just a minute ago I was reading this. I didn't read it all, but it was saying uh, Neil Young's Landing on Water isn't a good album. And then dot, dot, dot. It's a great album. And I agree. Now, of course, it's an 80s album, and so the production isn't the greatest, and the drums are really mixed high in, in the production. And that's the one, you know, besides the production, though, the songs are there. And I remember when uh, this album came out, before I bought it, there was a video called, called Touch the Night. And uh, Neil Young plays this uh, reporter, and he, he's a really good actor in this, and he's very funny. So if I remember, I'll have a link for it in, uh, or maybe at the end of this video, I'll have a link here somewhere, and also in the description. But I'll, I think all of the songs on this, Weight of the World, uh, Violent Side, one of my favorites is Hippie Dream, which I believe he still sometimes uh, plays in concert. Bad News Beat is great. Touch the Night. People on the Street, which was another video with, I think he played the same character in that. It's really funny. Hard Luck Stories I like. I Got a Problem I Love. Pressure is, is pretty good. And Drifter. Every song I either really like or absolutely love. And like I said, I think the downfall for the album, if there's a big negative, it's the 80s production. But if you swipe that away. Uh, the songs are there, and they're, they're really great songs. If you're a Neil Young fan, uh, I hope you give this, see that? I hope you give this album another chance or two, because they're, they're really great songs, and uh, my, I think my favorite, all, uh, I think my favorite Neil Young album is probably Rust Never Sleeps, but I also love another album of his that is bashed a lot, Trance, which I was almost going to do instead of this album. But between the two albums, I think this one is disliked more. And so, like I said, I feel it's underrated, and it is a great Neil Young album. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below, especially I'm especially interested if you are a fan of Neil Young. Of course, if you're not a fan, you're going to <laughs> not like it no matter what. So, I woke up the beast. Sorry about that, Jinx. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. 